What's up, guys? It's Nate from Famous Racing Customs. Um, I'm gonna do a little video on the '65 Chevy Stepside. Um, I think the last comment I got off of it was from Big Boonski, yeah, stating it was sick. Which, yeah, I think so too. Thanks, uh, thanks for the comment. Also, um, appreciate it. You know, um, I like it. You know, and I, you know. I wasn't really sure if a whole lot of people were going to like it or not, but it seems that more and more people do like it. Um, I do have a, sli a slide, a slideshow video, um, and that was more like a test video for my slideshows because I was using uh, Loopster.com, I believe. Um, I don't know. You can find it um, if you want to look at it. Um, so... Anyways, yeah, this would be basically like a kind of like a walk around, and um, I'm not sure if I want to start doing a series of my completed projects or not. Um, I'm kind of using this as a test video, um, see what you guys' comments are like, to see if I'm going to continue on doing my completed builds. Um, I may do a series on my rebuilds, and then obviously, of course, I have my update videos on my new projects, so. Um, Speaking of new projects, um, today I didn't get to anything, um, I kind of came, um, the, yesterday the baby was sick all day long, and, uh, I think I caught whatever she had, it's like a little 24 hour bug, so, um, I only went to work for like two hours today, I've been pretty much laid up in bed all day, so, uh. I haven't really gotten anything done on either the 56 Delray nor the uh, Wrecker truck. And uh, for the Wrecker, I mean, it's just sitting there, you know, um, just waiting, waiting, waiting. So, um, anyways, uh, back to the 65 uh, step side. That's right. All right. So there it is. Uh, I. I done this video over and over again so many times and every time I've started off with the box art and I'm just not going to do the box art uh, a lot of you guys have probably already built this truck or have seen this truck and you've already looked at the box art so I'm not going to do it again sorry guys um, so uh, paint color is uh, testers one coat lacquer the emerald green um, with the one coat lacquer wet look clear um, and as you can see, it, it, as soon as the LED light on my phone hits it, it just starts going crazy. Um, if you look on the roof very carefully, you can probably make out what I'm, I mean, if you were able to zoom in on it, you probably make out what I'm watching on TV, which is, uh, I think it's Tattoo Nightmares on, uh, Spike. Um, so, and to, believe it or not, I did not color sand, I did not buff, I did not polish this out. I spray painted it and I put the truck together. So this is no polishing. Um, you can do that. Same thing with the hood. Um, yes, I know I have some blemishes, I need to go and do it and repaint it. And So um, this hood's such a pain in the ass though. And um, uh, too many times in my experience, even with the same can of paint, the paint never comes out the same when you go back and repaint something. So, I don't know. I don't know if I can fix it. I'll, I'll probably try to fix it before I do anything else. So, um, it does have a severe drop, um, which is just modified the stock pieces to make that drop. Um, I, uh, Cut the uh, control arms off. Um, attach the wheels and tires to the control arms. Laid the cross member on the ground. Glued the control arms to the cross member, and then I ended up tweaking the hubs that the wheels attached to um, to sit straight. Um, not a hard thing to do. It's not the simplest thing to do. If you look right here, it, it, you'll notice that I don't have an exhaust on it. Um, reason being is, is I just haven't gotten to the point where I'm comfortable enough to 
scratch build and exhaust for this truck because um, even though things are not perfect like this these aren't perfect you know um, I still want a nice looking exhaust for the truck if I were if I were to do one it's not a show truck or built this truck for me um, these arms right here for the rear end uh, are actually mount oops sorry um, these arms right here for the rear end are um, actually mounted up higher and I ended up just cutting them off and lower or moving them more center and straightening them out um, so it would clear the frame so I can get a full drop past the frame um, and uh, so yeah um, for the C notch itself actually very simple I, I stumbled upon it just looking at my my box parts because I was thinking about just taking um, the parts tree and making my own uh, c-notch for it and then I saw that I wasn't using the stock rims and they had these these backs and I mean they look I mean if you look at it it looks like a custom c-notch um, to me it's a simple custom c-notch that a lot of guys would probably do you know it's not a regular c-notch so basically what I did was is I just cut the backing in half and glued them into place. Let it set, uh, super glued it, let it set for 24 hours, make sure it was all nice and good and set and it wasn't going anywhere and then I cut the section of frame out afterwards. Um, I do need to make a piece for this nasty hole here. So um, yeah, there's the C-notch there. Um, the front end basically again um, I was going to use pieces off the uh, 61 Impala on the front I was going to use the grill up front off the 61 Impala in uh, part of the uh, the front fascia but I couldn't get the front fascia to fit right and I just got frustrated with it and just said you know what screw it I'll do it on the next truck if I can um, but I had already cut the frame up the frame up for using the front fascia um, so basically what I did was it just gave me a nice nice spot to uh, to suck in that front bumper all the way up against the cab um, which a lot of guys are doing now they're they're sucking in them front bumpers um, so then they're also tweaking them just a little bit so they fit a little better along the body line I just didn't do it on the edge um, for the rear I did a roll pan look using the rear fascia of the uh, 61 Impala so it gives it a nice nice little street truck look you know um, I really love this this truck and the rims I have to show you them on an angle because again the LED light is ridiculously bright but if you notice I have these green spokes that are on the back nothing custom about it that's just the backing to these rims. If you twist the backing of the rim, you get these spokes. So I just painted the back of the rim, which uh, I guess you can't tell. Um, but anyways, yeah, I I painted the backings, uh, color matched them to the truck, clear coated them, you know, and it came out with this this really nice custom look. I wish my phone would just zoom in on that but it's being retarded right now and uh, so oh there we go look at that so it gives it a custom look without having to scratch build anything all I did was I just twisted or turned them so I had five extra spokes so and actually I got inspiration from this truck not only by watching YouTube videos but um, I have probably I don't know about 20 there it is. Uh, street truck magazines um, if you're looking for if you're looking to build anything any kind of vehicle um, to me it doesn't matter I get my inspiration for my trucks out of these um, because I see trucks that I want to build. In fact, um, 
that truck that's on the cover there. Uh, the 67 to 72 Chevys, they have a 72 Chevy um, model out there that I want to get and build up. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm looking for that one. Um, I think I have it on my wish list at modelroundup.com. Um, I love that website. Um, the models are really pricey, but you can find some really hard to find um, uh, model kits out there. So, uh, any of you guys that haven't been there before, check it out. It's just uh, modelroundup.com. Um, check them out and. Uh, the, that's where I've gotten the uh, 77 Wrecker, the Delray, the Nomad, um, the Escalade. Oh my god, I forgot about it. This thing's still sitting out in my my garage. The Escalade. Um, Redneck 7381. Um, it just reminded me, man. I'm sorry, bro. I forgot all about that. Um, I did get your email, um, and I will email you back later. Um, now that I thought about it, sorry, but I I didn't mean to blow you off or anything like that. You know, no disrespect or nothing. I just got busy with with a whole bunch of shit. So I and I just totally forgot. I wasn't trying to blow anybody off. Um. So. Uh. Anyways. Um. To my subscribers, thank you again for uh, subscribing. I gotta update my list. My list is my subscribers list is growing daily, and. Not that it's a bad thing, I just gotta go through and I gotta redo uh, my list so I can do a big long shout out. I'll probably have to do just a whole video just in shout outs. Um, uh, so, but yeah, all you guys out there, you know, watching more and more of your guys' videos and uh, I'm really liking what I'm seeing, man. I mean, I see everything imports, mini trucks, hot rods, low riders, whatever. You know, I'm into anything with it's got four wheels and a motor. So, um, I just don't have the money to build everything. <laughs> so, um, and you will start seeing that I'm going to start slowing down because it is getting the holiday season. And, uh, so you won't see, uh, I won't be having models coming in as, as often. I still need to get two more, um, before the holidays. And, uh, one of them is, uh is uh just a big rig model i've been wanting to do a big rig model and um i think big boonski uh you're the one with the kenworth and the flat black one i believe right i don't know i have to go back through my videos but i know that you've done a few different um a few different uh big rigs and i believe you are the one with the rat rod looking uh kenworth uh that you did the uh crow hood on uh, that thing is that thing's ill um, but I want to do something kind of like that too, um, and then I'm hoping I can get that uh, Copo Nova because um, I really want to get my hands on that. But I have something a little different for that, and it might involve in maybe involving an engine swap. I don't know yet. We'll see. So, anyways. Um, yeah, just keep doing what you guys are doing out there, and uh, just keep feeding in them videos. Keep subscribing, please. <laughs> I love it when I get subscriptions, because then that means I know that my videos are being watched. I love getting my comments, because I know, you know, I, uh... I, I know I don't get back to all of you guys, and I don't comment on every video either, and I don't expect everybody to comment on my video, but... Like, um, I enjoy the comments, and I love the positive feedback, and I think you guys embellish just a tiny bit, but it's appreciated. Um, I really enjoy, uh, getting comments, I really enjoy watching you guys build models. Uh, Dave Parker, you guys got, or you got, um, you got some great builds going on. I can't wait to see that, uh, that, that vet, I forget what it's called. The one, the one Corvette that you're doing. Um, I want to see that thing finished. That thing looks like it's going to be pretty sick. Um, Big Boonski, I got to look at yours, uh, your new video with the 62 Catalina. Uh, I don't know if you have an update on the Merc either, but I'm loving that Merc and the Catalina. Um, Dr. Cranky, I know you've got a couple videos posted up. Um, the, I, I don't know which. I, I need to get back to uh, watching videos. Um, 
Last Jimmy 71, man, still waiting on a video, a new video from you. Um, hopefully, I'm guessing that uh, you're working a lot and you just don't have time, or at least that's what I'm hoping. You're not giving up on us, man. So, uh, anyways, man, I'm I'm done ranting and raving. Um, this is Nate from Famous Racing Customs signing off.